it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a mermaid tutorial to share with you that features both Born Pretty Store and Easy Peel from Nail Experiments. So I'll show you how I did these. I'm going to begin today with a liquid leather by China Glaze on all of my fingers. I've done one coat here. Next I'm going to go in with Easy Peel Latex Barrier from Nail Experiments. This was sent to me for review. This is the small doe foot size and it retails for $8 and comes in 15 different shades. So to apply, you just take the doe foot tip and smooth it right around your cuticle. I found this formula to be really thin but easy to control, nice and silky. And it dries quickly and it also stays together really well. It's not gonna fall apart on you when you try to peel it off. To take Midnight Lake and Red Night Sky. These are both duochrome flakies, like tiny, tiny flakies from Glitter Gal Australia. So I'll be doing a gradient with these. You can see here sort of the shift in colors. This one goes from a blue to a purplish pink, and this one goes from an orange to a pinky purple. I'm going to be using just a regular wedge shaped makeup sponge, and I'm going to go in with a Red Night Sky first. You can really see how tiny the flakes are in this. And then Midnight Lake. The gradient is not going to be as stark as it looks on the sponge. So I'm just going to make sure I overlap a little bit and get a nice blend. Then I'm going to pounce it directly on top of the black. Just a little up and down motions to get a good blend. And one pass is all I'll need to do with these. I'm going to top coat with Bohemian Polishes Flash Dry just to help smooth it out and protect the base. So this is just one easy coat. Once that top coat's had a little bit of time to dry, I'm going to peel up my latex barrier just a little bit. Just enough to get the tweezers a nice grip and then peel it directly off. The quicker you can peel off your latex barrier after applying polish, the smoother it's gonna peel off, but I had no problems with this one. So here's a look at the finished gradient. Next, I'm gonna go in with these mermaid stickers from bornprettystore.com. I will link these down below. This is option TV6, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the package. This is what it looks like when it's out of the packaging. So just a plain black backing, and the sticker part is all the holographic part. So you get one, two, three, four, five mermaid sections, so that's about enough for two manis plus some accent nails if you'd like. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut off the first section to make it easier to deal with. And just cut it closer to nail size. So here's what I ended up with. I'm going to take my tweezers and just pry up the edge a little bit. These are not fragile at all, really easy to peel. I liked working with them better after I cut the silver border off. And these are super sticky, so I got really lucky with that placement. They stick really well to your nail. You can remove them and try to reposition them, but I don't recommend doing it a whole, whole lot just because they are so sticky. But they are super durable too. So I'm gonna take my small scissors and go in and clean up the edges a little bit. Also recommend filing the tips because if not, they'll get caught on everything. Like they got caught on my hair a lot. So just make it nice and smooth. Okay, next I'm going to go in with Top Coat. This is Bohemian Polishes Flash Dry once more. I did do two coats of Top Coat because after the first it was still a little bit textured. So I'm going to let this dry and then do another coat of Top Coat off camera. So here is the finished Manny. I went ahead and left an accent finger. I really loved how that gradient turned out. I did add a little bit of Fiery Furnace towards my cuticle on my ring finger. So here's a view from another angle. A 
and here is a swatch photo under artificial lighting. So if you'd like more information, I'll link everything I used in the description bar, or you can also visit my blog at sloppyswatches.wordpress.com, or follow me on Instagram at sloppyswatches. So thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.